What's going on guys? Welcome back to another awesome episode and today we're going to be checking out a very very cool pack. This is the 2022 Matchbox Electric Drivers 12 pack. How awesome! Yeah we get 12 cars in here and we'll have a quick look at the packaging. There we go, 12 cars, Matchbox Electric Drivers, a little bit of extra mumbo jumbo. You can pause and read that if you wish. Uh, on the top there we have the Matchbox, Matchbox Electric Drivers and some more recycled information. And on the back, well, uh, we get a whole bunch of mumbo jumbo. So once again, pause and read that if you wish. There's some more there. And uh, there is a barcode there. So hopefully if you scan this, you can still find this because uh, there was a recent find for me, uh, but it is a 2022 release. How awesome a lineup of cars in here. Yes, we'll have a quick look at these. Really, really awesome. And then we'll get on into it. Must say that picture on the front does look really, really nice. All right. Okay, these cars all come in these packaging. A little bit of uh, white paper there. And we have this rice paper box here, which is actually very sticky to hold, uh, but not going to worry about that. I do like the presentation because you do get a nice little display case here, which we can use as well. So yeah, really, really nice packaging in this. All right, let's start off with this first one here. All right, yes, this one here, I'm gonna grab the box so I know which ones we're looking at. This one here is the Matchbox self-driving bus. Wow, that's really awesome. I do like the look of this. Uh, city electric bus, nice big blue window piece for the top of there. Has a metal base, there is the base information if you wanted to see that. Chrome wheels, and a little bit of a shot of the interior, a couple of seats in there. And there we go, there is the front, or is that the rear? <laughs> I'm not entirely sure. And there's the other side there, going to the city centre. And there we go, there is that side there. Yeah, it seems to run in forwards and reverse with the same uh, look to it. That's really, really cool. Yeah. Uh, let me know what you guys think of that one. All right, next up, we have the Speedy Express delivery van. And this one here is the 2009 International E-Star. Oh, wow. Yeah, really cool. Uh, plastic top piece once again with a metal base. There is the base information if you wanted to see that. Has the hubcap wheels. Nice white and orange livery along the side there. Speedy Express around the corner or around the world. We do it right. Yeah, really, really nice. How's my driving? Very, very nice. Nice little bit of badge work, livery and such on the side there. Uh, this seems to be a solid black piece of plastic. So I'm not entirely sure if there is an interior inside this. And uh, there we go. There is the opposite side just there. And it has the roller door on the back. Yeah, really cool. Nice little sunroof on the top there. Very nice, very nice. All right, next up we have <laughs> the same vehicle with a different livery. This is once again, the 2009 International E-Star. Really, really cool. There we go, awesome. This one has an EV charging livery along the side there, the mobile charge. Uh, plastic white top piece, green base on this one. There is all your information there. Uh, same hubcap wheels. Uh, do like the wind farm and the electric charge design of this one. Yeah, really, really awesome. And there is the opposite side livery there. Yeah, let me know what you guys think of this pairing. That's really cool. I do quite like how they have the two different designs in there. All right, next up we have the Honda, the 2020 Honda E in white. Wow, very, very cool. Yes, nice chrome wheels, simple white and black two-tone design. This one has got an interior, but the tint on that window is very, very dark. Around the front there, we get the nice glowing headlights, Honda badging, Honda E on the license plate, and a little bit of a black panel just there, possibly where the charger goes. Uh, not entirely sure. I don't know too much about electric cars, to be honest. And around the back there, very nice. We do get those glowing rear tail lights, the Honda badging, blacked out panel there, and the Honda E on the license plate. Wow, that is really, really nice. Yeah, nice example of that. And there is the base for all of you base fans. 
All right. Next up, we have, oh, the BMW. This one here is the BMW i3. Very, very cool in red. Has the nice headlight design, nice blue around the kidneys there. That's really awesome. They do actually glow, uh, glow in the night and everything like that. Little badge there. A nice clear shot of the interior. Very, very cool. I do like that red paint, that is really cool. A uh, good choice of wheels also. A little gray panel just there. And around the back we get that blacked out rear panel with the brake lights, the badging, and all of those extra details. That is super, super cool. Wow. Yeah, that is really, really nice. I love that color. And uh, you'll have to let me know what you guys think of the BMW i3. And there is the base for all of you base fans. All right, next up, what have we got? What do we have? All right, next up we have the BMW i8. Wow, that is really, really cool. I will grab the box there. The 2015 BMW i8. And I actually do quite like the look of this car in real life. I reckon it looks really, really nice. A nice front headlight badging grille designs on there. Have the European license plate there, uh, blanked out. Once again, another great shot of the interior. Nice clear window to see all of those details. Uh, same chrome wheels as on the last car. Have a little bit of a blue stripe on the side there. This one has a nice metallic black paint as well. Yeah, really nice. Uh, but it doesn't get the rear light detailing painted on there. That's a little bit unfortunate uh, because it's such a cool, cool looking car. Uh, would have been nice to see that. Uh, let me know what you guys think of the BMW i8. Yeah, really nice. All right, next up, what do we have now? All right, the first of the Teslas from the pack. Yes, very, very cool. Nice red paint on this one here also. No metallic in there, but it's really nice, kind of like candied red paint. Uh, and this one here is the Tesla Model Y. Yes, really, really nice. Uh, nice clear shot through the roof panel there into the interior. Yeah, really nice. Uh, same wheels as on the other ones. There's more of a, uh, a brushed chrome look or a brushed silver look. Nice headlights, Tesla logo on the front there. Uh, around the side there. Yeah, we get another shot of the interior. And around the back, we have the zero emissions on the license plate, dual motor and the brake lights and uh, Tesla logo painted up there quite nicely. That is pretty cool. That is pretty cool. And uh, yeah, there we go. There is the base for all of you base fans. And I don't believe I showed the i8, so we'll get to that one just quickly. There we go. All right. Next up, what do we have? This one feels very, very small. What could this one possibly be? Oh, we have the little uh, airport tug vehicle. If we can get this to focus, it's been so small that it doesn't want to focus on there. There we go. Melton on the side. Little globe on there as well. Uh, nice red, black, and silver striping on the side. Little hubcap wheels. And there we have the little steering wheel section there. Nice big tray to carry uh, any equipment that you need to. Around the front we have Melton and some silver stripes. And I assume that that is the headlight in the front center just there. And the uh, same livery on the opposite side. Yeah, that is pretty cool. Yeah, first one of these into my collection. And there is the rear there. Uh, not too much on the back there. But still, how cool is that? This one here is the Matchbox Mini Cargo Truck. Yeah, very nice. And I will go to the base there for all of you base fans. All right. Yeah, it's pretty cool. <laughs> it is so tiny. All right, next up, what do we have? This one's a larger car. Oh, this one here, we have the Nissan Leaf. Yes, really, really nice. Uh, there we go, the 2018 Nissan Leaf. And uh, on the front there, it looks pretty cool, yeah. We get that little bit of blue paint in the grill there, little Nissan badge. Headlight design is quite clean, very, very nice. Nice metallic white pearl paint. And we get a little shot of the interior there. It's a little bit of a tinted window piece, but still easy to get a good shot. Uh, chrome six spoke wheels. And around the back there, we get the Nissan Leaf logos. Uh, I think that's 
what does that say? I can't quite read what that says just there. I uh, have the leaf on the license plate and everything like that. Yeah, that is pretty nice. Nice, clean and simple the way I like it. Oh, uh, there we go. 2018 Nissan Leaf. That is really, really nice. That's kind of more like a, a pearlescent white paint than a uh, just a metallic white paint. All right, down to the last three cars. What do we have? Oh, we have the, the LEV. Let's just read it off the box. The LEVC TX Taxi. Yes, it's the British Black Cab. These are cool. And uh, yeah, nice metallic black paint on this one. Quite a lot of metallic in there. It's kind of getting onto the side of a, like a really dark charcoal. Really, really nice. Hubcap wheels with the extra trim on there also. Headlight details are nicely painted up. The grill's actually quite nicely done as well. As well. Little badge on the front of the bonnet there. Little taxi logo on the roof. Yeah, this is really nice. Very nice. Uh, can we get a shot of the interior? Very hard to see if we can get into the uh, the actual inside of the interior there. I do apologize. I don't actually know whether it is a solid black window or just really, really dark tinted because it's just, it's so hard to see in there. I do apologize. Uh, and around the back there, we have the badging, the TX on the license plate, the little uh, taxi uh, rates, I think that is there. And uh, the brake lights are nicely painted up there too. Yeah, nice badging and everything like that. Yeah, definitely let me know what you guys think of the uh, British black cab. Uh, I believe that there could be an interior in there. And just very hard to see through. Uh, and there is the base for all of you base fans. All right, down to the last two cars. What do we have? What do we have for the last two cars? We have got... Uh, this is the... Oh, it's another Nissan Leaf, just it's in red. So i try and get that to focus for you guys. Yeah, have the black chrome wheels on this. Lovely metallic red paint on there. Uh, very hard to see inside the interior, but we already did see on the other version, so we know what the interior looks like. Uh, the black and red two-tone really suits this, I do have to admit. Uh, there we go, nice headlights. Uh, the grill there, you can see where all that blue paint is shining through. Yes, this is really, really a nice version of this car also. And around the back there, uh, it also has that blue detailing paint on that uh, rear diffuser there also. And there we go, how nice is that? Yes, quite impressed with the Nissan Leaf there. That looks really, really cool. Pop that down there. And the last car is the one I'm sure that a lot of people have been waiting for because I was wondering where this was also. Yes, it is the Tesla Roadster. How awesome is this? Uh, we'll go to the box there. This is the 2020 Tesla Roadster, uh, which is still in production as far as I'm aware. Uh, um, yeah, really, really nice satin red paint or a nice, oh, it's like a, yeah, it's kind of like a satin, dark satin red. It's really nice. Nice headlights. Uh, Tesla logo on the front there also looks clean. A little bit of a gray front splitter. Uh, the black chrome wheels look really cool on this too. And there's a shot of the interior. Wow, very, very awesome. It's even got that funny steering wheel in there. And around the back, we get the Tesla zero emissions, brake lights. That is super, super cool. And it's got a huge diffuser on the rear there also. Yeah, that is really, really nice. I will have to admit this is probably the nicest one out of the bunch. And uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think. And there we go, there's the base for all of you base fans. And that's a great way to finish off the 12 pack. Really, really impressed with that. There we go guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think of this awesome electric driver's 12 pack. I'm very impressed with it. And uh, yeah, until next time, take care of yourselves, be excellent to each other, and I'll see you all then.